What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? This is I, James, RetoptionAgency.com. 23 years selling full-time on eBay. And we are... What day is it? <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Wednesday. Wednesday morning. We are at 9.40 a.m. Boy, do I got stuff for you. If you like stuff, I got stuff. And if you like stuff, do you know I got started that second channel? I'll put the link below. I got to fix that today. Pimp Master of Stuff. Just video I don't have to, channel I don't have to think. I just go and show stuff. Talk about stuff. If it brings back a memory or, or nuggets of knowledge, I throw it out there. And we just talk about stuff. Could be stuff I'm listing. Um, if something just inspires me and I need to take a break and I just pick one thing up and talk about it, um, maybe we learn more stuff about stuff. We read some Wikipedia pages about stuff. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm using it as just, I'm, I'm trying to make the word stuff the star of the show, of the channel, and I don't have to think of anything about it. I just, bleh. I just word vomit all over the channel. Blah, blah. <sighs> but, so if you like stuff, make sure you subscribe to that video. Uh, I'm almost to 700 on that, so I got about 300 to go before monetized on that front. And watch hours, I'm only at 1.5 and you need 4,000 too. So I'm a long way away from that. And most of these videos are going to be short, 5 to 7 minutes long. Um, so it's going to take me a minute to get there. So the more people who watch, the better for the monetization part. And then, uh, I get paid to show you my stuff. What guy doesn't want that? It'd be like only fans, only cleaner. Paying, getting paid to show my stuff. All right. Uh, sales on both platforms. So yesterday we had a little bit of a bounce back day. Uh, thankfully, I was still having problems though, man. I kept getting a server failure consistently yesterday. So I'm surprised to get where I got yesterday. Um, on the new store, 81.85. And this morning we are at $24, headed toward nine. And in the last 31 days, I'm down to only two days that did not get sales on the new store. So pretty consistent. Uh, on there um, that's and I credit that to foundation items I, I I preach that a lot with you guys find that one item that has a very consistent sell through that you can pick up dirt cheap consistently wherever you are you you create a system to list it quick get that foundation because if you have just all random oddball stuff I mean, you can have days with nothing. But if you have like a common foundation item, CDs, hats, t-shirts, you're going to have consistent sales on those daily um, if you concentrate hard on that item when you go sourcing. Um, like with t-shirts, I went to the bins yesterday, picked up a lot of uh, Florida t-shirts, and you know, souvenir style t-shirts. I'm going to flood... Uh, that store today and probably even tomorrow I'm going to shift gears to the new store and just start flooding it with clothes since I got some open space uh, you can't see it from here but uh, yeah find that foundation item for consistent sales because I'm sure some of these days where I only sold one item chances are it was probably a t-shirt so I uh, can't stress that enough especially if you you say you go days without sales you, you see what I move here. Um, and the thing is, though, you have to, when you, when you, it's almost like a business plan. When you find that foundation item, you have to invest into it. You can't just buy a couple and go, oh, well, it's not working for me. No, buy several every day, buy, list 10 every day, list 20, just of the foundation item, not the other stuff that you want to get listed and dedicate yourself to that foundation item. Make that foundation item your business plan, if you will, the source of your business plan uh, in order to get consistent sales every day. 
is even when the site's not working properly, those items will still move. And this is my new store. I've got 800 and like 15 items in the store. I dedicated a couple of hours a week to it. And I have consistent sales 29 of the 31 last days. Find those foundation items and concentrate on them. I mean, that's pretty good. Since I started the store, what, in May, or June, July? I don't even remember now. Uh, $6,336. So... All right, so 81.85 on that store yesterday. We'll go to sales for yesterday and we'll include the international orders for the big store. And we've got 789.96, so 790 plus 85. So almost a thousand dollar day. Selling cost 37.2. That's what I like to see. I had a lot of bulk purchases. I got more here. That's what for me is going to bring that selling cost down because I'm only spending one shipping amount to ship out four, six, eight items. So that's good to see. Uh, net sales yesterday $433. So uh, records. Hats are down to number four just for yesterday. So records, hats, DVDs and Blu-rays, cassettes, and CDs. So CDs, foundation item. Hats, foundation item. For me, cassettes are foundation item. I'm getting ready to start pounding hard on DVDs again. I got away from DVDs because they were so slow moving. Unless you do things like the buy to get to, because people love buying bulk of DVDs. So I picked up a bunch yesterday at the bins. And once I get this program hooked up, I'm waiting for a contact to schedule a time so he can walk me through the site. Uh, and then I'll be free to go to list media like crazy. Uh, I have to probably take a day to get it nicely set up or whatever. But uh, I'm going to start hitting hard on DVDs. I got tons of DVDs in storage. So most of the DVDs down here on shelves probably ain't even listed anymore. So I'll have to spot check some of that stuff. So get into it. Yo, so yeah. So as I said before, I'm not, I'm trying not to focus in on the problems with the site. I just let you guys know, announce it so that you're not pulling your own hair out thinking, oh, am I the only one? I'm. St Yesterday I put the server error problems on my thread on the eBay tech boards, but a modder, a mod on the board pulled my last one out and made it its own thread about the server error. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's weird. Never had nobody do that, so I don't know why. But maybe just thought it was a current problem, so he made it a, a thread of its own. So I'm like, okay. So I'm using that one now to start uh, putting the problems on. So I'm just pounding away at it, man. Just my my goal with doing that is just to make somebody higher up at eBay notice that just in case they don't know what the hell's going on with their own damn website which can be a thing in big businesses, especially a billion-dollar company. He might be concentrating on freaking the acquisitions that they took in and not even paying attention to the website, you know, or what have you. So, uh, just got a text. I'll have to uh, check that out. It said, this is Dave. I, not, I dropped some new items off for you. So if you're watching, Dave, I'll get to you uh, in a little bit. Um, all right, so... Uh, this morning on the big store, 10 till 10, we're at $189. So in that sweet spot, I like to be. So let's get some stuff shipped out. We'll go to the new store first. And I got three items here. Shipping, get shipping labels, shipping labels. First up, we've got Lou Reed t-shirt. Uh, sold for $18, headed to Oregon. Oregon. Uh, 
Yeah, my my thinking about the, the new channel. I'm still gonna try to do the, the podcast called Pimp Master of Stuff here every Friday. But the more I thought about just trying to um Think about what else I could do. Why are my black markers like slowly vanishing? I'm down to three. Oh, here's one. And it's just like people's, the human nature of attachment to stuff. It can be a, a sickness when it comes to like real hoarding because of a traumatic event or whatever. Um, it could be something that motivates somebody to do something in life, whether it's come from poverty or, you know, um, be happy with their existence because they collect something, right? It gives them a purpose. Next up, we've got this El Trio Latin music artist t-shirt. This sold for $25, headed to Chicago, Illinois. And I'm just thinking, there's a lot of people, I mean, pretty much every human likes some kind of stuff, just something. So if I can create a channel that's broader than just reselling, but it's about reselling stuff, whether people are a hoarder or, you know, as I put in the description, like the depression era where people kept everything because of the situations the country was in. They reused everything they could. Um, just to, to collectors, to people who use stuff to get through their day to give them a purpose. Jose. I figured that might be kind of a cool um, challenge is to see if I can take this channel and make it a, appeal to people outside of the reselling community also. And then Mizzou hoodie sold for $16, headed up to Rolla, Missouri. And then also too, if it can attract more people, maybe they like to see the stuff sell and will come to this channel and watch videos like this. So do it as a cross promotion too, or and even uh, something to help promote the store. You like this stuff? Go to my store and buy some. So that's always been my goal for like certain style of videos and or another channel is to help drive sales to help grow outside the reseller community. And those are pretty much the two main goals. And to have fun. Fun is the first and foremost thing. And I like stuff myself. <laughs> Before, I mean, I used to be a collector of all kinds of stuff. Now I like stuff just because I can sell the stuff. So, um, so in an essence, stuff gives me purpose. Without stuff to resell, I don't know what I'd be doing. I really don't. I might be miserable working someplace I don't want to work. So stuff is, stuff is my life. So when I, when I, start to record a video, I stop myself and go, okay, this is your stuff channel, James. This is about the stuff. Nothing else. It ain't about really reselling it. It's just about those items. So anything that comes up in my head about those items, spew it. So I'm going to, you know, I think on the first couple videos, maybe even the one today that's coming out, it's out by the time you see this, but trying to you know have a different not necessarily a different demeanor but just a different purpose and you might hear things that you don't hear on this channel so 
that's the goal with that. So, all right, let me print up the scan form here. My tummy is like, feed me. I'm like, no, you got to get smaller. I need to start drinking more water. Damn it. I just have a hard time drinking water. Water just sucks. I do have put flavor, like crystallite flavoring in it too. That helps a lot. All right. On to the big store. How many orders we got? We got 28 orders with multiples. So let's get a moving because we got some stuff to get out. All right. Um, we've got a France. We got an Italy. We got a UK. Got an Australia. It's good when I see those internationals overnight. That tells me my stuff's being seen. All right, first up, we have some ASICs here. ASICs Tiger. Some running shoes. Uh, those sold for $17, headed to Medina, New York. Funky cold Medina. Now that Mr. Pee Wee feels stable, he feels really stable right now. Like, since he's come home from the hospital, there hasn't been no questionable feelings when he's acting a certain way. So that's good. So it feels like he's more stable. Um, I just got to get him to stop eating leaves and walnuts and stuff like that. He's like, walnuts are bad for doggies. Stop. But like he'll he'll find the shells that the squirrels got the nuts out of and start trying to eat them. I hear them crunching. I'm like, stop that. Uh, shipping. William. I can uh, start thinking about other things now. They do have the vet appointments. Today at five, I gotta remember that. All right, we've got Kill Switch Engage CD. I sold for seven dollars. Headed to Garland, Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas. Yeah, that one's right on the cusp of. I think it'll play, but I'll put it aside just in case I have another one that has to be received. Starting up a posse to come and look for you. We're gonna put a stop to what you wanna do, you effing whore. Na, 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 na. That's all you. Michael Lee Thomas, fresh out of nowhere, cassette tape. Sold for four bucks, headed to Amarillo. Dude, the neighbors bought one of the long trailer campers that hooks to the back of a, a truck, right? They've had it for three years, maybe taken three trips, and on this third trip, the freaking tire breaks off of one of their tires. This thing don't have many miles on it. 
and the other neighbor who used to work on semis and stuff and he builds his own cars you've seen the trucks and stuff in some of my videos he went out and helped them just get it fixed so they could continue on their vacation but they put on facebook yesterday went and got it looked at eleven thousand dollars the whole axle and everything has to be replaced so basically they're probably going to total the, out the camper it's like it's th three years old and probably has it has three vacations on it and it's already going to probably be totaled out of course you'll have to talk to the insurance and see how that works but that's just nuts something i don't know that's just i just stop paying on it and say come and get it because <laughs> i know he's probably making payments on it since he's retired he probably didn't buy it outright i mean who would buy it outright it's not really a smart thing to do well, I guess it depends. If you're going to keep it forever, I guess. Well, plan on it anyway. Next up, we've got this uh, whooshed, however you say, the knife block thing. Uh, sold for 14 bucks, headed up to Chicago. Grab the box, hoping it would be big enough. And it is. Let me clear my throat. Quality stickers on here. Good lord. That's a lot of stickers, man. So maybe that channel will help give me some ideas for the podcast too. Kind of include stuff as a topic in the podcast or a certain item or something. Maybe it'll help influence some stuff to make it better. 12, 11... to come and look for you. Balance, please. You're not going to balance on a cassette tape. But do the best you can. Next up, are you ready for a vinyl lot? Yeah. We got Jaquan, 12-inch. We got IMX, Stay the Night, 12-inch. We got D4L, 12 inch, and we've got Will Smith, Wah Wah West. Wah Wah West. That's Kumo D, though, right? Kumo D version. Wah Wah West. Wah Wah West. Uh, these are nine, $10, $10, $10, $10, and $5. Buy two, get two free. So spent $20, got $15 free. Robbie. 
Next up, we've got Breakfast Club self titled cassette. And it needs a new case. I am running out of sponges, man. I got to get some cassettes listed so I can pull some sponges. This is my last one in here. Got a few more upstairs, but I need to go through some cassettes and find some loose sponges. Maybe I'll see if anybody's selling them on eBay. Just talking this morning. Tommy Talker. All right. Three. Monica. I like my newer tip markers with the fine tips. We've got my sinuses are killing me this morning. So if you see me scratching my ear, that's why. Uh, Perry Como on vinyl record. Sold for four bucks, headed to Miller Wake. Sings just for you. Aw, ain't that sweet? He's singing just for me. Are you jealous? Because he's not singing for you, he's singing for me. Don't be jealous. Maybe one day he'll sing for you, too. Red Wings, New Era Cap, sold $14, headed to Hawaii. 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 That's if Hawaii Disturbed had a baby. I won't try to do it again because it probably won't be as good when you try to do something like that. the Paris concert. Please don't be missing a sponge. Oh, thank you. So for $10, kind of dusty, headed to Renando Beach, California. Renando Beach, California. Boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Make sure I pick those up so Goofball doesn't try eating them. Alrighty. Ah, Shop Airlines. That's going overseas. Nose itch. Bachman Turner Overdrive. Not fragile. Please be there. Sold for five bucks, headed to Alaska. Alaska. Boom, three. That's finally medium L cheaper. No, ground advantage is cheaper to Alaska. Rob. Next up, we go the Horse Whisperer soundtrack on CD. So for four bucks, headed to El Cajon, El Cajon, California. Cajon. 
Not K Jan, K John. Green Day, Insomniac. I did it all for the Nookie. No, I did it all for the Dookie. I did it all for the Dookie. Oh, the Dookie. Uh, so for four bucks, headed to Alaska again. All right. Alaska's in one order. That's oddball. I like it. This one's on the border too, but it'll play perfectly. For eight fifty, headed to Virginia Beach, Virginia. Robin Williams was a genius man. It's too bad he was. Why are so many like like funny or very artsy, like musically inclined, or people are just kind of a little mentally different? I would say I won't say off. I just say different. That they'll. Be more depressed at times and commit suicides and stuff. And I, don't know. I say embrace that shit, man. Find a way to embrace it. I think that's a lot of like at least comedians. Why am I wanting to say comedians? A lot of comedians do embrace it for their material but they're just not able to get past a lot of stuff. So they turn to drugs and alcohol and stuff. Uh, I, I, I'm no, in no way a, a, a genius of anything, so I don't know their mindset. So it's hard for me to really comment on it. But man, I would say try to be self-aware. Like I tried to be with myself. I try to be self-aware of where my head always is. I mean, I know I'm like dyslexic yet. I've never been diagnosed because I'm always flip-flopping things. I watched a video back from a week or two ago. I'm watching it. And as I'm talking, I notice I'm flipping things. As I'm talking, I'm like, no, it's, I correct myself while I'm watching it. So I always try to be aware of who I am and how my mind is working. Like if I could find a way to teach people like say a Robin Williams, and like I said, I don't know their mindset, so I don't even know if it's possible. Like to really be self-aware of how your mind is working. Like when I know I'm going into a depressed state, but yet there's really no reason why I'm aware of it. And I can say, hey, this is my headspace right now, so uh, please don't yell at me for anything or, you know, try to help me out of it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, DK, Dana D. Kane, CD, sold for four bucks, headed to St. Paul, Minnesota. But I wonder if you are that extreme, if you can be mentally aware that you are that extreme. And would it even matter if you did notice it and acknowledge it and try to utilize it to the best, you know, try to take advantage of it in some sort of way? 
other than writing jokes or whatever, you know. Or maybe it's just too powerful to even conceive, for my mind to conceive, because I don't, I don't experience it. I guess I'd really have to talk to somebody who's that extreme. Next up, we've got Ori Oregon Ducks, a nice faded, distressed -y hat. Love these. Uh, sold for six bucks, headed to San Gabriel, California. little spot. I think Courtney went upstairs when I was wrestling with some vinyl over there. I heard him flailing. It was about going on 6 a.m. I jump up thinking he's having a seizure. He's just kind of stuck under the bed. <laughs> so I had to pull him out so I could get up. I'm like, Phew. Next up, this was just in one of the stuff videos yesterday. That one needs resurface. Machiavelli. So for 13 bucks, headed to Port Arthur, Texas. Texas, Texas. All right, so I got two to resurface. Joshua. And the Pee Wee cards, normally they haven't printed by now, so I'm not sure why it's taking them longer. Maybe they're just busier. All right, next up, are you ready for a CD line? St. Louis Irish Arts CD. Power of Storm Chaser. Knowles, Celticus, something like that. And then Banish Misfortune CD. So this one sold for $21. St. Louis Arts was 11. The Knowles was 8. The Power of Storms was 6. So buy two, get two. So the spent $32 and got the $7.99 and $5.99 for free. Those are the ones I like. Buy a couple of higher dollar ones and get a couple of low dollars for free. Headed to Chicago. Shy Town. got uh this one's got a good chance of the sponge being missing yes oh but it's uh, there it's just underneath it uh huey lewis and news sport this set sold for four bucks headed to webster new york it's here it's just off and underneath the piece there we go dun, 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 dun. air bubble or the glue. All right. Get that a little bit straighter. Perfect. 
Pufito Mundo. Oh, man, man, oh, man. Three. Headed to New York. Of course, New York, New York. Just a little bit of town. Boston and a Baton Rouge. Boston, oh, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. I always forget these words. Seattle, San Francisco, too. Next up, we sold another one of my promo flats of uh, Debbie Gibson. We could put a Debbie Gibson here, yes? No, no, we won't do that. So a promo flat from uh, 1988, nice condition. Bought tons of these at the Benz. Uh, so for 16 bucks, headed to Tinley Park, Illinois. What did I get the bins yesterday? It wasn't much media. There wasn't many hats. So I just started filling the cart with clothing. Items. And since the clothes sellers already went through them, I wasn't going to find much, but I did. Uh, well, I wish I could think. I did find a concert t shirt I didn't expect. Can't remember who it was now, though. Fog hat, maybe? Yeah, I think it was a fog hat t shirt. I'm like, oh, wow. They missed this one. I don't think it was totally vintage, though. So. And then I found like a brand new Big Dogs t shirt, like perfectly folded at the bottom of the bins. So those usually do okay for me. Tim. Look brand new. I didn't look at it to see what graphics were on it, though. I just threw it in the cart and went on. Next up, we've got the St. Louis Blues Travel Mug. Sold for $14, headed to Stanton, Illinois. Why do I got Ode to Tipper Gore by Anthrax stuck in my head? Next up, we've got some Under Armour women's legging thingies. Heat gear. Sold for $14. Headed to Olney, Illinois. I did sell a nice dollar item I just picked up the other day at the bins. Let me get into that soon here. I saw it of course I grabbed it I'm like ooh not knowing it was worth what it was worth I figured it was worth a little bit more than normal DVD I had no clue how much why I figured it was worth more is because I've never seen it and it's a box set Next up, we've got this Ramsey Lewis on vinyl. That sold for four bucks, headed to Wisconsin. I mean, I that, that's what I want to try to grasp with that the, the new channel, redoing that channel. It used to be the sold business when I was showing your guys the stores and stuff and what sold. 
which I might bring something like that back to it also. But I just want to try to grasp how much I enjoy doing what I do. I mean, who doesn't love going out and buying stuff, right? That's the most fun part. So trying to bring that joy into the, that, that channel. Where this channel is more of the business side where you, the work is, if you will. ADR. So, like, I, I look forward to doing those videos. I think what I'm going to do is they're going to be mostly stuff I'm getting ready to list. And every once in a while, I might throw, like, if we do, like, a jam video where we show what we picked up. And then I was going to record at the bins and do a little video for that channel there, too. And it totally escaped my mind. Oh, that DVD is going overseas. So, we'll get to that in a minute. The Adventures of Corduroy. Bear on VHS. So for 10 bucks, headed to San Diego. But yeah, I mean, just shipping this stuff and seeing it move is just, it's just a happy place for me. Enjoy corduroy, Fred, or your child, whoever. And we got last US item is another one of my model kits. So for $21, headed to Georgia. Let's see. Leave the international for later and get this stuff to the post office. The international takes longer to arrive anyway, so they expect it to take a little bit longer. I'll just ship it when I get back. But I'll show you what I got. So if you're still watching, you can get on with your day. I've taken up enough of your time. 10, 10, 8, 96. And pretty much brought you up to date on what I'm remembering anyway. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. I like it. All right, Prince Zillay Baz. Review purchases. Confirm a pair. I had to put a note here because eBay sent me a note because I sometimes forget, and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if Adrian forgets a lot too. International orders add the VAT number to pirate ship when shipping in international. Because some people, I'm guessing, is having to pay double since. I know I forgot a lot, so I had to put a note there. Prince of Le Bellas. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that's printing. Do the scan form. I don't think he printed up a scan form last night. So he's forgetting to do that too. So the items left here are all international. And one has sold since. We got RBS 2000 hat. That sold for like $9, 7 euro. I sold a book. Atlas of Pathology. I sold for $10. That's going for international. Ooh, probably going to lose some money on that. It's a heavy book. And we got this Martina McBride promo CD single. Sold for $11. And then we got this. This is the DVD I was talking about, the Spencer Movie Collection. I had never seen that before. So it didn't look like some in common. So I'm like, oh, that could be some money. I threw it in my cart. Uh, sold for 
$55. So there's a little bolo to keep an eye out for if you see that. The Spencer Movie Collection. Four DVD set. Pale Kings and Princes, A Savage Place, Judas Goat, and Ceremony. I know nothing about any of this. Never heard it. Never seen it. So, had to grab it. Because that's what... That's the stuff I like grabbing. If I've never seen it and I have don't even know anything about it, I grab it. And this is something. And that's how you learn. And the more you do that, the more you learn, the more times when you pick something up, it's going to be something of value as opposed to a, a hit. It'll be, I mean, a miss. It'll be more hits than misses as you learn. So... Thankfully, I have more hits than misses these days. So when you do it for so long, you just get this instinct about things, right? So. The more you, the more knowledge you intake from videos or doing your own research or your own buying and researching what you bought, et cetera, et cetera. The more you build up that instinct base to get more hits and misses. Going on three tote day. Aaron. Michael. Three tote a day. Three tote a day for a Tuesday. Not bad. For Tuesday sales, that is. Not a bad at all. Okay. Monica. You know, Monica in my life. A little bit. I don't know that song. Song, is it? Oh, that's that Lee Vega song, isn't it? Uh, I forget the title. John. Jacob Jingle Fighter Schmidt. His name was my name, too. see where we are money wise money wise penny wise let's see where we are penny wise all right we're at 10 30 and i'm at 205 that was only 30 minutes well 50 minute video but oh, da -da 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 -da. 205 all right so that's is all so thanks everybody for hanging out and uh please like this video subscribe to the channel Subscribe to my other channel, like those videos, and I will see you all in the next video, of course. Later.